This Sunday is the 49th annual Earth Day. And to explore some recent planet-saving innovations, we turn to Ronnie Chang for a special Today's Future Now. Thanks, Trevor. Sunday is Earth Day, the one day of the year we pretend to care about the Earth by doing silly things like turning off our lights and not flushing our pee. <laughs> Meanwhile, I never flush every day, not even poop, and I don't even get a thank you. <laughs> Listen, there are lots of ideas out there about how to save the environment, okay? Some are stupid, and some are really stupid. <laughs> Take plastic, for example. We use plastic for everything, bottles, office supplies. John Travolta's face. So, to solve the plastic pollution problem, some genius came up with this idea. At this moment, 165 million tons of plastic is floating in the world's oceans. Waste that we now turn into this, which we then use to make shirts. Introducing the Gantt Beacons Project, shirts with tech prep containing upcycled ocean plastic. Finally, we can wear garbage without having to shop at H&M. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I completely support the idea of recycled clothing. For example, I got this tie at a funeral I crashed. <laughs> Don't judge me, it was open casket and clothes are for the living. <laughs> My only problem is, one day, you're gonna stop wearing that sea garbage t-shirt. And then what happens? You're gonna throw it out and it's gonna end up right back in the ocean, stuck in a dolphin's butt. Okay? Thankfully, we're not just banking on wearing chewed up straws to save the Earth. Some scientists are working to destroy the plastic. Scientists may have found a solution to the world's plastic problem. They've engineered an enzyme that can break down a key type of plastic that's used to make bottles and other products. To have an enzyme evolved that actually eats this man-made material is really stunning. An enzyme that eats plastic. Now that sounds like a great idea until the enzyme gets out of control and develops a taste for human nipples, all right? <laughs> it's too risky. We don't need enzymes. What are enzymes? Nobody knows. Let's just get teenagers to eat plastic as one of their dumb viral challenges, all right? <laughs> yeah, they're already eating Tide Pods and snorting condoms. I'm telling you, eating plastic will be the healthiest thing they've done all year. <laughs> Look, saving the planet isn't that hard, okay? Let's just do it old-fashioned way. Get Elon Musk to do it for us. Tesla says the world's largest lithium-ion battery has been switched on in South Australia. The 100-megawatt battery was built by Tesla. CEO Elon Musk says it has the capacity to power more than 30,000 homes for an hour during a blackout. Giant batteries are a great idea, okay? If my, if my wife had one of those, she wouldn't have to keep changing the batteries in her neck massager. Every day, she's always kicking me out of the bedroom so she can use it again and again. I mean, apparently her neck gets really sore after we bang so hard. <laughs> hey, what can I say? I guess I'm just that good. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Apparently, all this tech stuff is gonna like clean up the earth or something, I don't know. Uh, the only problem is, once we're done on earth, we're gonna have to clean up the mess we made in space. A British satellite designed to clean up rubbish in the Earth's orbit has been launched into space. The Remove Debris project was on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which successfully took off from Florida last night. The satellite, which features a large net to collect junk, will be delivered to the International Space Station before astronauts begin using it next month. Wow, we've dumped so much garbage into the universe that astronauts are gonna take off from Florida, rock into space, and think they're still in Florida. <laughs> and why is that garbage in space? How bad are you missing the trash can that ends up orbiting the Earth? Also, what's the plan here? We're gonna capture space junk with a net, bring it back down to Earth, and then what? Throw it in the ocean? <laughs> make it into a romper? Hey, at least up there, it was their problem, okay? It's called Earth Day, not Space Day. Clean up your own mess, alien. Ronnie Chang, everybody.